My name is Monica Parson and I'm a research fellow at the Centre of Evidence-Based Dermatology at the University of Nottingham. Today I wanted to tell you about a paper that we recently published in the British journal Dermatology that described the epidemiology of bullous pemphigoid in England from 1998 to 2017. Bullous pemphigoid is an uncommon skin disease and cause intensely itchy blisters to form over large parts of the body. The last time the epidemiology of bullous pemphigoid was examined in the UK was over a decade ago and our aim was to update the evidence for the incidence, prevalence and mortality of bullous pemphigoid in England. We use routinely collected healthcare data from general practices and hospitals that have consented for this data to be available for research purposes. So the data came from the Clinical Practice Research Data Link, which contains primary care data, the Hospital Episode Statistics Admitted Patient Care Data, which contains inpatient information from hospitals, and the Office for National Statistics Mortality Data. What we did was identify adults with bullous pemphigoid and compare them to the general population, which is also within the databases. We found that the incidence rate of bullous pemphigoid throughout the 20-year period, so that's the number of people getting the diagnosis for the first time each year was about eight new diagnoses of bullous pemphigoid for every 100,000 people each year. Older people were much more likely to be affected. For example, people aged over 90 years were almost over 100 times more likely to be diagnosed with bullous pemphigoid than people under the age of 60. Bullous pemphigoid in particular affected older men and we found that in the 20 year period there was a slight increase in the incidence. With regards to the prevalence, that's the total number of people living with the disease at any point in time, we found that this almost doubled in the two decades from about 27 people to 48 people per 100,000 in 2017. In those aged over 60, about one in every thousand people were living with bullous pemphigoid in 2017. Finally, we looked at the mortality of bullous pemphigoid and we found that in the first two years after being diagnosed, people with bullous pemphigoid were almost three times more likely to die than similar people without the disease. Even after this initial two year period, people with bullous pemphigoid were about 50% more likely to die than their peers. We've shown that bullous pemphigoid is a growing concern for people uh, in the UK as the population grows increasingly older. The mortality of bullous pemphigoid remains high and we need to put more uh, work into understanding the causes of the disease and developing better treatments. Thank you for listening.